Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Hush Hush. Only your love can save them. Es ist der 16. Juli. Es ist früher Morgen. Ich weiß nicht, was ich tun soll. Ich glaube, ich hole Geld. Your alarm goes off. It's a home improvement show. Now, even though it, this is a do-it-yourself project, you are still uh, gonna want an electrician uh, to come in for the wiring. Electricity is no joke. Yeah. Safe. Yes. Den brauchen wir nicht mehr. Yes. Back. Okay. Wir holen uns Geld. Man weiß ja nie. Zack. Okay. Und es ist früher Morgen. Mystic. Oh boy. A certain pair was not happy. I warned you uh, about the traps yesterday. Ach so. Oh. They've turned up the heat a bit on me. But don't worry. I know a little trick to keep me safe for now. The trick is to whisper their names in my lowest, baritoniest voice. It gives them the shivers long enough to distract them. My hinterscope for today is this. This week, you only get one chance to take Cassie on a date. And only one chance with Ellie. Don't reschedule those dates. Don't stand them up. Good luck. More tomorrow. Cheers. Ah, was ein Stress. Ich muss mal kurz in meine Kontakte gucken. Ähm. Okay, die sind tatsächlich beide weit, äh, gleich auf. Äh, von der Affection her. L ist irgendwie voll, ich weiß nicht warum. Mew ist voll, mir ist klar warum. Quill ist auch okayisch. Da arbeite ich noch dran. Ähm. Ich, ich lese mal, was Eero will. Mein Problem ist jetzt gerade, ich weiß halt nicht, nehme ich gleich. Gehe geh ich lieber zu Cassie oder lieber zu Eero? Ich weiß es nicht. Ich weiß es nicht. Hey, what say you and I hit the beach this week? I just noticed today that I've been doing a lot of surfing. But not a, a lot of just, you know, chilling. What do you say? A friend of mine and I are planning to go today in the afternoon. Can you ma can you make it? Um Ähm. 16. Afternoon, das ist heute, habe ich gerade gesehen. Du willst auch Afternoon? Nee, das ist doof. Uh, t t today won't work on my end. Ja, es ist halt. Äh ich glaube, ich kann dir sagen, heute geht nicht. Richtig? Ja. Ja. Uh, no sweat. I think Kelly, my friend, said Wednesday the 17th might work for her too. Uh, let me touch base with her. Uh, I'll get back to you. Talk to you soon. Okay, okay, okay. Dann haben wir das. Auf ins Café. So I left it in my car for more than a month before I noticed this man. Das hatten wir doch schon. Dimitri, that was my car. And now is not the time. We have a customer. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Hallo. What can I get for you today? Ähm, Kaffee. Here you are. Ausnahmsweise. Have a great day. Danke. Und auf in die Stadt. While walking through town, you spot a familiar face window shopping at one of the clothes store. It's Dimitri. War nicht vorher noch im Café? And for a moment you think he is inspecting a scantily dressed mannequin in the front window. Uh, working up the nerve to ask her out? I don't think you're her type, you have a head <laughs> and I think it's perfect for you. <laughs> Very form-fitting. Um, <laughs> I don't think you're her type, you have a head. Ah, my friend, good day to you. Hey. <laughs> yes, I see your point. That explains why I can't seem to catch her gaze. <laughs> But no, I am not admiring the fine craftsmanship of this plastic Venus de Milo, but rather the scarf on the one next to it. Aha, okay. I am shopping for a gift for my sister, you see. But I am not so good at this. Ja, hol ihr doch den Schal. Das I always bestimmt. wish to give her things which will Toll. embarrass, but secretly delight her. <laughs> but it is becoming too predictable. Hmm. So now I wish to go for the fatal blow. Something sentimental 
and sweet, which will make her cry. If you can mind. Do you have suggestions? Hmm. The scarf is good, but wrap it around on actual lotus. Hmm. Maybe donate to a cause in her name? Hmm. Nah, go for inappropriate, but tell her it's something sentimental? Nah. Nah, ich finde das mit dem Schal okay. Findet ihr auch? Klar. Oh my. This is truly an excellent idea. From one lotus to another, this is an adorable thought. Yeah. Yes, I am loving this. Sehr schön. My friend, for your help with this, I shall share my super secret fail-proof method for making women fall in love with you. Ich habe bereits einen super secret fail-proof method. Möglichst viele Dating Sims spielen. Es funktioniert. Dimitri leans over to whisper something in your ear. You actually can't quite make out what he says. But somehow, you feel an increase of confidence when he finishes speaking. Take my secret and go. But use it only for good and not evil. <laughs> okay. And now I must shop. Farewell. Was gibt's denn dafür? Swaf plus 5? Okay. Dimitri leaves and you carry on. Not totally sure what just happened, but otherwise feeling pretty good about it. Afternoon. Yep, keine Frage. Wir gehen zu Mio. Oh. Oh. Oh, es ist ein richtiges Date hier im Weingarten. Arriving at the vineyard, you see Mio waiting outside, fitting on a fancy stone fence. Fancy stone fence, swinging her legs back and forth. You manage to walk right up to her before she notices you and even lets out a startled yelp when she finally does. Ah! Oh my goodness! Sorry! <laughs> you startled me! Sorry. Sorry, I was I, really deep in sorry. thought there, I guess. Unless you're a great deal sneakier than I thought. I'm a ninja, it's time you knew. What were you thinking about? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, just something really nerdy and stupid. I don't even want to say. Okay, dann nicht. But don't worry, I'm sure after a few glasses of wine, you'll be hearing all my random thoughts and opinions. Alles klar, abfüllen ist hier jetzt das You know, das, uh, I've lived here for basically forever, Ding. and I've never done a wine tour. What's up with that? I mean, they Was? drive you to the wine. They give you all the wine. This is a genius idea, and somehow I've been missing out. Ähm, um, was soll ich sagen? Ich bin auch lieber zu Hause als draußen. Wine's okay, I'm more a beer person. You're a fool, it's the only answer. Sei, darf ich fool zu ihr sagen? Yeah, exactly. Anscheinend Not ja. Not the first time. <laughs> Won't be the last time either. Now, I notice there's no wine out here. So let's stop doing out here and let's go in. Okay. You and Mir enter the lobby. It's a lot colder inside than outside, as the AC seems to be on full blast. Brrr, why is the world so hostile to ladies with chilly bodies? Half the places I go to shop or hang out, I feel like I need to bring a blanket. How's a cold-blooded girl supposed to make it in the world? I keep you warm, apparently by morning about at nine, I keep you warm. Are you saying I can give you the Tauntaun treatment? Cut you open and wear you like a... Ähm, um, nein, nicht. Oh, <lacht> Tonton Treatment. <lacht> nein, nein. Wow, I'm not gonna finish that thought. That joke sounded a lot less psycho in my head. Vergiss es, das war Psycho. Moving on. Once you make it in the tasting room, a sommelier offers you and me a glass of white wine. She assures you. Uh, both, it's a fancy wine worth your time. Ooh, this one is good. I actually prefer whites in general because reds sometimes give me tummy aches and migraines. Das ist Rotwein. Ich kenne mich mit Wein nicht aus, aber das ist Rotwein auf dem Bild. Okay, schön, dass wir das eben kurz gesagt haben. Um, and before you give me sass, I don't just mean the next day. So stow away those smart aleck comments I hear you brewing up. Uh, I feel attacked. Uh, whenever wine makes you feel awful, I find more wine helps. 
Uh... Ah. That strategy only works for a little while for me before I'm waking up on my floor and realizing I've texted all my exes to tell them I miss them. Hmm. Hey, look, wine. I'm gonna drink it. Oh, don't so, post. kidding aside, how's the vacation going? Half over, right? Oh, that's Are you fish. on track for all the trouble you wanted to cause by now? I like yours. I'm a little behind. Uh, yeah, not bad. I'm burning through cash, though. I need to find a better way to supplement. Or, to be honest, some days I'm actually getting more of a sense of déjà vu. <laughs> nee, so schlimm ist ja nicht. Aber ich weiß nicht, was ich darauf sagen soll. Ähm. Ähm. Nee, das mit dem déjà vu, das ist, glaube ich, gemeint, dass man häufig speichern und laden muss. Das ist jetzt gar nicht der Fall. I like yours, I'm a little behind. Ich weiß nicht, bin ich so dahinter? Eigentlich sieht es auch gut aus, oder? Keine Ahnung. Ich weiß auch nicht genau, was das Ziel ist. Alle Dates komplementieren. Kom komplementieren? Ne, komplettieren meine ich. Ähm. Ach, ich denke viel zu viel drüber nach. Äh, uh, I'm a little behind. Yeah. <lacht> you bastard. Don't be hating on all this. I know you like the shorts. I see you, Marin. Okay, vielleicht habe ich nicht ganz verstanden, was ich gerade gesagt habe. Whatever. As you and Mio finish up your first glass, the sommelier returns with a second. This one appears to be a rosé. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think I want to dye my hair this color. Feinrot? Oder rosé? The sommelier jokingly reminds you that one generally spits out the wine after tasting into one of the winery's many fine silver buckets. I think that might be against my religion. Ja, auch gegen meine. Ich spuck doch keinen Wein Tell aus. Tell you what. We'll consult legal counsel and take it into consideration. <laughs> After the sommelier moves on, Mia rolls her eyes and smiles. Spitting out wine? <laughs> who does that? Quitters. That's who. Quitters and spitters. <laughs> Probably people who don't want to be day drunk. Nein, quitters and spitters. And in the adult entertainment industry, those two are the same thing. Okay. One of the <laughs> one of the other guests looks over the shoulder at Mio, giving her an unimpressed look. Oh, wir lassen Oops, uns nie wieder I might have said that a bit too loud. Wir, wir können uns hier nie wieder blicken lassen, aber worth it. As the two of you finish your second glass, you hear the sound of a text message alert, and Mio takes out her phone. She pokes at it for a moment and suddenly becomes irritated. She holds her phone in front of her mouth and scolds it. Grr. Phone? There is no message! There's no message! Please stop notifying me about ghost messages! What's the problem? Ghosts are so pushy. Uh, what's the problem? It's just my dumb phone. It alerts me five or six times a day to messages that aren't there. Soll ich mir das mal angucken? Ich habe Text Savvy. all sorts of fooling around with it. Firmware updates, flashing it, everything I can think of. Sorry, that probably sounds like the least important of all first world problems. But I feel like it's going to drive me insane. Bummer. Insanity probably voids the warranty. Uh, I might be able to fix it. Wie hoch habe ich das eigentlich inzwischen? 32, nice. For real? You think you can fix it? You're not just playing with my emotions? Nee, ich mein's ernst. Sure, thanks. Knock yourself out. The next step I'm most likely to try is dropping it into the ocean. But you take a crack first. Mio swipes open the phone and hands it to you, uh, on the setting menu. While you're doing that, I'll BRB. The wine decided it's done with me and would like to head home. Okay. Good luck! I'm thinking fix-it thoughts. Good. You tinker with Mio's phone for a few moments and spot the issue right away. It's definitely something even a technical person would likely miss. The fix only takes 30 seconds and you're left without wine or company. Swiping around Mio's phone once more, you find at least 50 game apps which all seem to be up to date and regularly played. Tapping on Mio's picture folder though, you're met with a password. Wie kann man 50 game apps... Entschuldigung, ich glaube ich habe gerade mal zwei Spiele auf meinem Handy, weil mein Handy dann einfach voll ist. Und schade, ich habe Hacking nicht auf drei, deswegen schließen wir das Phone und warten auf Mio. 
äh, interessant, dass man nochmal noch Ordner auf dem Handy spezial verschlüsseln kann, zusätzlich. Äh, you wait. Ist das ein Ding? Geht das? Ich weiß es nicht. You wait while also willing the simulator to return. Mio practically jogs her way back, doing her best not to actually run, but her mouth is wide with happy anticipation. Hey, hey! Did you do it? Is it fixed? Innerhalb von 30 Sekunden, yeah! You hand the phone back and nod gravely. Oh my gosh, there are no new message pop-ups! You did it! Oh my god, you're my hero! I was seriously ready to drop this down a hole and swear off texting forever! I feel like I should bake you a cake or take off my armor to reveal my bikini or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how does a well-adjusted adult show appreciation again? <laughs> um, Mio kisses you on both cheeks, then plants one on your lips. She rubs the back of your neck and smiles. Thanks. Gerne. At that moment, the Samueli returns. Noticing that your fancy spit bucket remains unused, she's slightly more hesitant to give you the next glass. Don't worry, we're professionals. Professional whiners. Scheiße. 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 <laughs> Aha! Uh, wine is so good, we're having trouble deciding how many bottles to buy. We wine all the time. Hey, that rhymed. Das war Absicht. And so did that. We're poets. <laughs> oh yeah. With some reluctance, the Samueli hands you each of uh, each a glass of red wine. Okay, I've been waiting for a time to ask you some stuff, and now seems like as good a time as any. Okay. I've got some difficult things to ask you about. Stuff I need to know before I can decide if this relationship can continue. Yeah, ja, kann es. Are you ready? This won't be easy, but we can get through it. Okay. I'm suddenly very concerned. Now and bring it on. You're already tipsy. How dangerous can you be? Do not underestimate my power. I have the high ground. <laughs> okay. I mean, wait, the low ground. The low ground? Is that what it's called? Nine. Whatever, I got a lightsaber, bitch. I'm not afraid of you. Okay. Okay, question one. Which princess? Daisy or Peach? Bowser. Uh, Peach, I mean, it's right there in her name. Daisy, obviously. Whose voice would you prefer screaming your name? Puh. Also, tatsächlich eher Daisy. <laughs> Peach is zu Prinzessinnenhaft. Hmm, you make an interesting point. Peach does not have a voice for screaming. War falsch. But I'm afraid I can't agree. Peach's voice is just so girly and wonderful. I long to hear her promise to make me a cake. Oh. Uh, aber in Super Mario 64, wo sie das mit dem Kuchen sagt, hat sie eine andere Stimme als später. But you're entitled to your wrong opinions. Okay, here's a trickier one. In Otoroku Bakari na Magiku Sakana Senshi, there's a scene where Sumi tries to seduce Kaito at the Donut Festival. Was ist Otoroku Bakari na Magiku Sakana Senshi? Und wie lange hast du gebraucht, um das fehlerfrei auszusprechen? My question is, how many times should the writers have had them get it on, instead of the zero times they actually did? <laughs> <laughs> the sexual tension was insane for those two, and they were so perfect for each other, and they would have made each other so happy and arg. I am not over this, and I'm not watching their stupid reboot movie franchise because I saw Kaito's design and they got rid of his hair loopy things, so now I don't want him to sweep me away to his bed anymore. Anyway, go ahead and answer. Was war denn jetzt die Frage? Uh, Kaito and Sumi can't have sex, they are clones of each other? About as many times as I wanted to do the same to you, first time we met. Oder it's okay, Mio, let it go, the ship is gone. Ich nehme das zweite. Whoa! Wow, I... That's cool. I really like that. Ha! Sorry, the snap back to reality is sometimes a little too jarring for myself. Yes, I also think you're smexy. Smexy? Was ist ein smexy für ein Wort? What was the question? Ah, uh, never mind. Is Maxi ein I can tell I only asked it sexy? because it was something upsetting and I needed to vent. Sorry, ich habe nicht zugehört. Ich war jetzt gerade am überlegen, was Maxi bedeutet. Muss ich das nachgoogeln? 
Zerstöre meinen Suchverlauf. Smexy. Smexy, 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 Smexy. Definition of Smexy. Es ist ein Kofferwort, das smart und sexy. Ich bin so Smexy. Leute. Leute. <lacht> äh, was hat sie gesagt? I can't tell because it's something upsetting and I wanted to vent. Okay. The family returns and Mio quickly chucks the rest of her glass. You're feeling a slight buzz yourself at this point and the fourth glass seems taller than usual. Ah, very nice. Good year. Nice bouquet. Ja, yeah, das sag ich All auch right. immer. This is the third glass? Vielleicht. The sommelier looks slightly alarmed at this point, but gingerly hands each of you one last glass and informs you that it's an ice wine. Oh, ice wine sind lecker. Die sind sehr süß. <lacht> ice wine? Like, this wine tastes really ice? Nein, deswegen like doch nice, nicht. Like nice, but ice. Ach, Mio. Uh, the sommelier says that she'll fetch some crackers and leaves. Well, I forget the rest of my questions. Did you have any questions for me? Maybe something nerdy to make me feel better about my personal interests? Uh, what's your favorite anime? Which anime do you feel is the most like you? Die Frage ist interessant gestellt. Ich check sie nicht. Klick. Hmm, that's a good question. You know, there's this one anime I just finished watching that I haven't been able to get out of my head. The anime is called Doki Doki Gaia Senki DX3. Aha. And it's probably not actually my all-time favorite. Let's just say it's my temporary favorite. Das kann, so kann ich my summer fling, if you will. Ich dachte, ich bin ein summer fling. It's a Yandere story about this boy who discovers that he has the power to kill people with his mind. But only if he's kind to them. Was ist das denn für eine Story? So the whole show is him trying to be as kind as possible to all the people who are awful to him or who are just his romantic rivals for this girl he falls in love with. <laughs> okay. It's heartbreaking because there are times when he's trying to use his power to defend himself. Like he's getting beat up and he's trying harder and harder to be nice to the bully. Das ist voll interessant und ein bisschen bekloppt. And then he can't be nice to the girl he loves because otherwise... Well, you see the dilemma. <laughs> Yep, that sounds like anime. Oder I'm very invested now. Das klingt wirklich spannend, aber irgendwie... Uh, harte Story. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said when I read up on the storyline. So, okay, as dumb as this sounds, my favorite part of the anime isn't the Yandere. Nicht. It's actually the senpai, the girl that the main character is in love with. Mm -hmm. And it's because, well, I feel really, really connected to her. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have the most screen time, but she's written in a way where she's just sort of a quiet character. Like, the loudest part of her is actually the world just dealing with her. Every time she's on screen, she says something that gives everyone a little boost, you know? And as a result, all this misfortune befalls her. Mm. She's got stalkers, her friends keep dying, her family is weird and probably abusive, and so on. There's all these dangers, and they're always drawn to her because she's quiet. In fact, they're drawn to that quietness, to that peace about her. They're starving for it. Ah, and I love her, and she's pretty, and she dies, and her death is beautiful. Uh, and spoiler, I guess. Yeah, du, du hast es gespoilert. Love it. Let, let's watch it sometime. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt you, but you're getting getting louder and louder as you explained all of that, and that sounds really dumb. Nein, lass uns immer zusammen gucken, auch wenn du gerade gespoilert hast. Will you? Oh, all I want in life right now is someone to talk to about this story. I know it's kind of silly, but whenever the universe makes me feel this way about a certain character or story, I feel like I need to slow down and pay attention. If you watch it with me, well then, you're good people. I am good people. Woof, I think maybe I should have used that spitty bucket. I'm already mm, a little inebriated. Inebriated. Ich nehme das Wort mal so hin. That's what you get for not eating breakfast and lunch, I guess. Even if all you want to do is fit into the cosplay you just bought. Was für ein cosplay? I don't think I want to hit the next place. Do you want to just go get some fries or something? Maybe I should take you home. Nein, lass, lass, uns, lass uns fries essen. Okay, 
but you're gonna have to do most of the bouncing because I think this floor is a bit slanted. Okay. On your way out, Mio tells the sommelier that she had a wonderful time. No one seems to mind that she is a little tipsy. It is, after all, a wine tasting. <laughs> Once you are outside, the fresh air perks both of you up. You catch Mio giggling to herself as you call a ride chair and look for a place that serves fries. <laughs> it's so weird sometimes. Uh, w what is? Just to want what other people have, even their pain. Was? I was just thinking about the senpai from my show. Uh, so. Sometimes I feel like her problems are better than mine because... I don't know. There are more worthwhile pain, I guess. Hmm. It's hard feeling like your problems are self-inflicted nonsense. It's not that you dislike the pain, it's that you think it's mundane and unimportant. Important pain, hmm? Weird thought. Jetzt wird's uh, sehr philosophisch. That sounds a bit like depression. I don't know your pain, but your joy is awesome and profoundly important. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Ich habe Angst, dass sie de Depression hat. So kommt sie gar nicht rüber. Aber sie hat Freude, das ist doch super. I'll take that. Mio smiles. The sparkle returns to her eyes, and she nods. Nothing else to say. Look, I'm going to do something I would normally never do, but I think I've had enough wine to do this. Yes, I want I'll to go give in. you the streaming address for my show. <gasps> yes. Just in case we're not super clear on the details, I play video games naked. Wirklich ganz naked? Ich dachte halt so, weiß nicht, im Bikini, wie manche Menschen das auf Twitch machen. Keine Sorge, ich nicht. Ich streame nicht. People tip me money. Ja. Sometimes I do more than take off my clothes. Was? <lacht> oh Himmel. It means I'm a big fat bot. And the internet hates me and loves me at the same time. It's very confusing. Ja. I want you to watch it. And then I want you to talk to me. Um, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, I don't get quite as heated or opinionated on stream as I do in real life. But you get to see boobies, so everyone is happy. Just watch boobies. it, please. I need someone else to know. Someone to talk to about it. O okay, okay. Will you do that for me? I think about nine. Yep, of you, yeah. Thank you. I know how weird this sounds. Ein bisschen, aber macht and nichts. I know the wine probably isn't helping. Alles gut. Or it's helping a whole lot. I don't know. Mio is quiet for a while as the two of you wait for the ride share. She plays with her hair and bites her bottom lip in a way that's kind of sexy and sad at the same time. Before the ride share arrives, she says one more thing. I have a stalker. What? Okay, ich habe gerade ihr drittes Secret herausgefunden. Einfach mal so. Aber das gefällt mir nicht. Mew seems to freeze after she says it, looking at you side-eyed. She literally holds her breath until you respond. You what? Like, right now? Nearby? <laughs> no, no. Not here. At least, I don't think so. Okay. There's this guy, or gal, I suppose? That follows my stream. Mm -hmm. They've donated a lot of money to me over time. Every time I auction off a make me do anything stream, they always buy it. I s das nicht They've das. sent me a lot of emails. Emails asking to meet me or to talk on the phone. Okay, that's vielleicht ein bisschen zu persönlich dann, huh? And those ghost messages you fixed? Every time they went off, I thought maybe this was it. This was the stalker finding me. Mm. It's sort of maybe why they were driving me crazy. Uh, do you think you should call the police? Uh, and that's why you're thinking about stopping? Uh, why are you telling me this? Hmm. Hat sie irgendwann erwähnt, dass sie damit aufhören soll? Was ist mit der Police? Was ist mit der Police? No, they haven't done anything illegal or alarming or anything. Ah. They're just... 
They're really into me. Ich kann es dir nicht verübeln. Ja, okay. I'm their senpai, I guess. Hm. When the right chair arrives, Mio actually squeezes your arm before you get into the car. I think I'm actually going to walk home now. It's really nice out and I don't live far from here. Soll ich dich nach Hause bringen? I just need a walk. I got a lot of thoughts in this silly brain. Do you, do you want to take the right chair? I can walk. No, I would much prefer to walk right now. Thank you. Um, Mew leans over and kisses you. See you later. Okay, Thanks pass auf dich. Everything. Pass auf dich auf. Don't watch Doki Doki Gaia's Stinky DX3 without me. Auf gar keinen Fall, zumal ich mir den Titel gar nicht merken kann. I'll know, and I'll cut you. Okay. I'll text you the website for the stream. Bye. Bye. Mew walks away and the right chair takes you to French fries. Okay. Ich dachte, sie wollte mit Fries kaufen. Okay. Oder essen. 16. Juli, Evening. Wir sind immer noch nicht durch mit dem Tag. Auf ins Hospital. Feeling an odd pull to go somewhere new. You decide to stop at, in at the hospital. I mean, why not? You walk into the lobby, feeling a little out of place, as you see assortments of people with various degrees of needs a hospital. A nurse is eyeing you, and you can tell that you're already being judged for your not needing a hospital vibe. You look around for an alibi. You see a sign that says, read to a child event right now. For a moment you think that it's an odd typo, but realize that it's intentional. The sign has a photo of L attached to it. Read! Das ist L. You sneak over in the direction it's pointing before the nurse woke up for Grumch, uh, the Grumption to play security guard. Walking down the hospital hall, it only takes a few minutes before you find the right room. Sure enough, L is in there, sitting in front of a huge group of sick children, holding up a book. Hello everyone! Which story do you think we should read today? There is an explosion of answers and enthusiasm from the crowd, and Elle giggles at some of their suggestions. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know the one about Kitty Katsunova. Ich auch nicht. How about Jack and the Beanstalk? I always like that one, because I don't care much for beans. What? The kids laugh and agree. After chatting among themselves, They should suggest chocolate is, is better. All right then. Once upon a time, there was a poor village where no one had any food. All of the food had been taken by an evil giant with pink hair who lived in the clouds and bossed everyone around. Mit pinken Haaren? The kids boo. Generously. I'm no fan of giants myself, but then I don't watch much football anyway. Giants on football, eh, okay. <laughs> El giggles, though the joke goes over most of the kids' heads. Let's continue. El continues to read, and you can't help but feel a little dreamy listening to her. Her calm energy kind of takes over the room until all 40 kids are in spellbound silence, listening. But just as Elle is getting to the part where Jack cut the beanstalk, she falls asleep. You see her head dip forward and thankfully she does not fall out of her chair. The kids suddenly become worried and one or two of them begin to make fun of her. Motivation call her sleeping beauty. Das habe ich nicht. Ich habe, wo ist meine Motivation auf 25? Get a nurse to help Elle. Quietly leave, the cringe is too much. Um, nein, komm, dann holen wir mal, holen wir mal Hilfe. You fetch a nurse who walks over to Elle and manages to rouse her back to consciousness. You can tell Elle is embarrassed, but she continues her story anyway, though the kid seems more restless and less interested than before. When she finishes, some of the kids clap, but most have moved on to other activities. 
Elle thanks them with sincerity and shows herself out. You sneak away before she, she, before she sees you. Hmm. Sie hat so ein gutes Herz, oder? Auf nach Hause. Auf nach Hause und... Ähm Und, ähm, hm. Ich habe das Gefühl, ich brauche mehr Suave. Ich muss, ich muss freundlicher sein. <lacht> There is music on the radio and things seem oddly peaceful. You only feel a little tired this evening. Das, äh, das, das, das war Tag 16. Es ist schon wieder vorbei. Mit schon wieder meine ich nach über einer halben Stunde. Ähm, ja. Danke fürs Zusehen. Wir sehen uns dann morgen wieder. Super. Dann äh, bis dahin. Macht es gut. Euer Anna und die. Tschüss, Lerö.